Hello everybody, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be making this. Let me guess, you can't see it. All right, let's try it again. I'm going to be making this. Can you, can you see that? It is a pushpin that we use on a cork board or a pegboard to attach notes and stuff to it. Obviously, I'm not going to try and duplicate this. I'm going to try and make a bigger version of this, a much bigger version of this. Why? Because I think it will be fun to see if, to see if I can make it and also fun to see what it will look like. All right, there's a closer look. And what I did is I found this was thrown away. You can see there it's bent. I have to straighten it and the, the tip is quite dull. I measured the diameter of, of this tip is one millimeter and this is 12 millimeters. So I used the scale of 12 because I have the, the, this rod that I can use and I measured all the other measurements here and wrote them down like this and then what I did is I multiplied it by 12 and I got my measurements that I have to use. To start with I need a piece about this thick and this piece in between here is actually quite straight more or less. So I'm just going to cut it out quickly. I'm going to cut this knot out here just after this knot and then I'll have a long enough piece here and then debark it. This is still some of the yellow wood I have left some odd branches and stuff, but uh, this piece here will be, will be perfect. So uh, let's do that. Okay, I want to jump in here quickly and show you something interesting. As I'm repositioning this log, which came from outside, a little lizard appears from underneath the bark right here. And then he goes on to jump right into the place where I'm going to make my cut. And then slowly moves away to the edge of the log and he sits right on the tip and once I've completed the cut uh, we assumed that he fell to the ground with the stump because I, I went through the footage frame by frame and I could see him sitting there the whole time. On a positive note the cameraman did see him run away on the ground after the log dropped so we know he made it but what a little daredevil. So this will work perfect. Every tool is a hammer. Wise man once said it. I've got it round and I've got the diameter more or less what I want it to be. So I'm going to quickly start and level it out. It's almost there. All right, so now this is a trick I, I learned from watching a YouTube video. Got a block here with four, four different grids of sandpaper on it. And because the block is straight, it actually helps me by holding it like this, moving it around. I can get this really, really straight. So I'm just gonna quickly do that. You, you can actually see at which point the dust comes off this. That's the high points. You can see from the sanding here, so this part is higher, this part it hasn't sanded yet. I can't remember on whose channel I saw it, but man is that a great tip. So I'm going to start by reducing this, and then I can curve these, these ones here. This is what I think I'm going to do first.
All right, I've got the center part here to the right diameter. And this is where it's going to be cut off, this and that side. Now I have to round this corner so it can get to the, to that edge. So it, it must be a, a curve like this in here, which I've never really done, but okay, let's see how that will work. All right, I'm happy with that shape. What I'm gonna do now is sanding. That is really beautiful. So let's see if I can get this puppy off here. All right, I'm gonna quickly cut this off and uh, then we can finish it off. That brings a smile to my face. All right, so I'm just quickly doing a dry fit. That's perfect. I have a little bit of this resin left over from the domino clock project. So I'm gonna just put this in there. Hmm. Looks like I made way too much resin. Oh well. At least we'll know it will It will be in there forever. I can see that my, my spike is a little bit skew. Considering that I don't have a bench drill, it's not so bad, I think. It's done. Have a look at that. Isn't this just one of the prettiest things you've ever seen? I'll show you some close-ups now, but from this to this, can't even see the little one. Really, really something special. I wonder if it will work. Let's say you want to put a note up. Where did I put a note? Ah. Something like this. Like that. And that's how you put up a note. I made this for no function, no purpose, purely decorative, just to see what it would look like if you had one that was quite a bit larger. And yet, it's nice to make things like this because at least it does improve your skill. It does give you time to practice. I could practice a bit on my wood turning which is not that great, to be honest. So it gave me opportunity for that. And I, I like it for that reason. And it's nice. It will be a nice, memorable piece. If you like this, please consider subscribing and putting the bell on so you can see future projects. Feel free to share this video if you want. Most of all, leave me a comment. How could I have done this differently? I think this was a real fun project to make. I like the end result. It very closely resembles the real thing. Until next time, make your best life. All right, so my uh, fears confirmed. If you see, um, it's near, not nearly level. See this edge coming up like this all the time. Okay, hmm, that does not look like the center. I wonder why, hmm, wait, wait, let me try something else. I'm gonna put it straight in the hole and then, oh, that's not gonna work. Ooh, hmm, not what I, th what I thought would happen.